Alrighty, day three. Um, I'm gonna call this one What's in a Name, and um, it's very important. So, I bought a domain yesterday. I decided to cap the name, get moving on it. You Clade, um, named after one of Jupiter's moons. Um, I really like the name. I did you clay.de. Um, care, care, careful with that one. Um, I kind of screwed up. I don't live in Deutschland or Germany. And um, I am not allowed to have that domain. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna park it for the next 10 years. Um, $70 mistake, not a big deal. So, themisto.dev, also one of Jupiter's moons. Um, I, I really did like the Euclid name. It was really growing on me, but I think themisto.dev is pretty good. Um, it's, it's still taking a minute to uh, get, get a good ring. Um, but I think Themisto is pretty good, so I'm uh, gonna go move forward with that. I really did like the uh, domain hack I did with Euclid, um, making it Euclid.de, um, but I think Dev is also a pretty good one, um, and I kind of want to stay up to the trends and kind of stay with how a lot of you know CodePen is on .io and REPL is on .it, um, get.tech, you know, a lot of these. Uh, more tech and development focused domains are kind of staying away from the dot-com world. So I want to continue that um, I, I think that'll help kind of show that I am with the developers and with the trends um, And then with that uh, I've been pretty sick today um, Take care of yourself But i um, still still moving forward um, Did a lot of thinking um, Trying to make my current job work um, while I continue to work this project, but um Kind of running into some dead ends left and right, just a lot of red tape everywhere. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, this might become a full-time job sooner rather than later, um, depending on where everything sits. Um, but yeah, no, I still have a really good outlook on this. Um, I did a logo redesign, so as you can do it that way. Uh, see, that's kind of the logo we're working with. So again, it's one of Jupiter's moons. So I've got you know the moon right there and. Um, the, the name can come later, but it's really important to me to lock this down and kind of give it um, its own its own namesake and its own like presence in my mind, right? It's not just the project, it's the Misto um, and the Misto.dev. So um, again, this kind of comes down to what your workflow is, how you organize things in your mind. Um, you can kind of roll with a code name or just kind of just call it the, you know, if it's a API project, call it the API project, or if you're working on, you know, something else, just call it that, right? Um, but for me, I think I think a name is really important to kind of get an identity, um, and then a logo is really important to me as well. Um, I really like simplistic stuff, stuff I can make myself, and it just kind of um, lets me see what I'm up to, and it kind of puts it in a, in a better mind space for me. So that's always been really important. I, I struggle a lot with logo design on a lot of my personal projects. Because um, I'm not a UX guy, I'm not a UI guy. Um, I understand the importance of them, um, but when it gets to more complex and complicated logos and designs and color wheels, and it's not my forte. Um, but I think I think green is pretty good. I think green is pretty upbeat, um, which is something I need on this project. Um, uh, the lights kind of you know beat me down right now, but I think the the green and the uh, not even sure what's called that orange is yellow. Um, is not super common. I think you know you see a lot of blues um, in logo design, um, and <clears throat> I wanted to keep it you know not entirely pushing the boundaries because I'm not a UI guy. I don't know how to push those best, um, but it definitely seems unique to me, um, and I can kind of start moving forward with that. I can start to kind of do some of the design elements, um, the application I'm working with trying to get that K8's configuration on um, does allow a lot of styling and customization so as you can see in the bottom here um, it takes a very long time to collect all the conda packages I'm using for the uh, the Python side of this so I will start the um, the docker file so I'm running this in docker compose right now I think it's a really good place to get an MVP going um, but I will start the docker build and it will take 20 30 35 minutes sometimes. I don't have the best internet connection as well, and it's running on a 10700T, which is a pretty powerful processor, but leaves room on the table. So 
Um, unfortunately, that is my biggest bottleneck right now is a lot of um, sitting around waiting for packages to build as I, you know, um, work on the image. But I think it's really important that I get that image online because once I start figuring out exactly how to configure and orchestrate that image, the faster I can start working on the APIs on the back end um, and the databases that are going to store the information needed to kind of move around and do that dynamically. Um, so um, it's it's really slow progress, but um, what's in a name? Uh, legal action is in a name, so be very careful. Um, but we did pick up the Mr. Dev. I'm going to roll with it for a while. We're going to see how it feels. Um, it was it was relatively cheap to pick up, so you know I'm feeling it uh, in the wallet. But um, I think it's good to now kind of have the space to do that. Um, I am gonna have to kind of figure that out with uh, you know my cloud provider because right now I'm still just running this on localhost. Um, but yeah, be careful when you're buying domains because if you buy a DE, uh, be a German citizen. If you're gonna buy an EU, buy it, be a European citizen. Uh, make sure that you're not trying to domain hack um, regions that you're not allowed to. Um, as at least for me as a U.S. citizen, so domain hacking is cool. A lot of places do it, um, but if you're going to do it, make sure you do it legally, um, or you could run into issues later. Signing off.